Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us today. I've had a lot of requests from you guys to do another seafood bowl. Actually, y'all request I do crawfish bowl, but it's not crawfish season right now. So the next best thing will be to do a regular seafood bowl. I got some crab, some snow crab legs. I got some shrimp. I'm fixing to throw in this pot back here. I just filled it with water. I'm letting it come up to a boil. When it comes up to a boil, I'll bring you back. We'll show you what we're gonna add to the water. It's gonna be great, y'all. Stick around. All right, guys, I got some steam coming over here, so this water is boiling. And I've got my strainer. If you use one of these uh, pots like this, try to get one that's got a strainer. Makes life a lot easier when you're pulling the seafood out. All right, here's what we got. This is my seasoning, folks. This is a Louisiana shrimp and crab boil, or crawfish shrimp and crab boil. It's good stuff right here. I like the Louisiana brand myself. I'm gonna go in with a full bag. This is a 16 ounce bag. And my pot's about three quarters of the way full. And when I insert that strainer, it's gonna raise the water level and then I add seafood. And I try to keep the water level below the top edge of the strainer. So, what we got going there? I'm gonna add this full bag here. That's smelling good already. Oh yeah, there we go. Got that going. Now you got to get you a good stirrer upper. I got this nice wooden paddle here. It's like a boat paddle. Get you something like this. Stir the pot. <coughs> oh, that's strong. Make sure you stir the seasonings up real good. Make, make a mixture it mixes in with the water. <laughs> Woo! That's getting to me, man. As you're noticing, you could do this inside on your stove, but you might want to put your vent on high if you got a vent for your stove. Because the fumes coming off this thing knock you out, man. I appreciate all you who requested me do a Another seafood type bowl. That mixed up pretty good. Let's see what we go in with next. Some regular old salt, you know, just a regular old box of salt here. It's 26 ounces. I'm probably going to use about half of this because I've tried just the bag by itself and it's just not, the seafood isn't salty enough for me. So I like to add a little bit of salt. Clumped up. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. There we go. And this is one of them bags you float in the water right here. This is the. Uh, it's another seafood uh, crawfish, crab, and shrimp bowl type bag, but it's it's like one of these. Uh, Bags that's got all the different mustard seed. And what else we got in here? Let's see. Mustard seed, coriander, red pepper, bay leaf, dill seed, cloves, and allspice. Throw the bag in there, folks. Just one bag. That's all you need. And when you're using shellfish, put you a little bit of hot sauce in there. This is Louisiana Crystal brand hot sauce good stuff it's got a lot of vinegar in here the vinegar will help the meat separate from the shell on the shrimp and from the uh, the crab or if you're doing crawfish helps with the crawfish too so we're going in with a full bottle this is 12 ounce bottle folks and I took a little stopper thing off the top of it so it's easier to pour out there we go Oh yeah, now we're talking. Butter. This is salted butter. Going in with a full stick. <coughs> There's two half sticks that I've got. There we go. The other one in there real quick.
And that butter will also help the meat separate from the shell, if you didn't know. That's why I'm using it. I've got four lemons. I've got four lemons I just cut in half, folks, because you need some lemon juice in there to help brighten up the flavor of the seafood. So I'm going to squeeze all four of these lemons in there. I just halved them. And then throw the lemon in. y'all see the mistake I made? I forgot to put the strainer back in there. Let me do that. There we go. stir up again. Make sure all that salt gets mixed in there too, folks. There we go. And continue on with the lemons. I'll be right back. Alright, now you want to go in with a, a large onion. This is a sweet onion. I halved it and then quartered those halves. That's what we're going in with next. Next we're going in with some garlic. As you can see, I've got two garlic heads here. I just cut the, uh, the top of the heads off. That way the garlic flavor can get in to the boil mixture. Pop them in there. I'm going to put the lid back on this. I'm going to let it come up to a boil. I'm going to let it boil for about 10-15 minutes. Make sure all those seasonings get all mixed in with everything. We'll bring right back. We're we'll fixing to add some seafood and stuff. Guys, I almost forgot. I need some of this liquid, concentrated crab and shrimp and seafood bowl here from Louisiana. So there you go. Give it a good shake. I'm gonna probably use about four to six ounces of this. Pour this directly in. Just like that. And again, let this come up to a boil. Bring it right back. All right, guys, it's been going about 10 minutes. That's long enough. I think all the uh, ingredients are mixed in there pretty good. I got this bag of uh, new potatoes right here. And these probably take, I don't know, probably five to 10 minutes to get soft and uh, cooked all the way through. If you're using larger red potatoes or any other potatoes, depending on what size they are, it may take longer. So what I like to do is cook the potatoes and then once they are almost done, you know, for, put a stick of fork in them, see if it's done. When they're almost done, that's when you add your seafood, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this whole bag in. Just like so. Put the lid back on it. We'll bring you right back. These potatoes been in there just for a couple of minutes. I went to check my freezer to get out my shrimp that I'm fixing to throw in there here shortly and found some corn. We're gonna throw some corn in there, folks. It's frozen corn. And uh, you can throw pretty much anything that you want in here. There's no rhyme or reason. Throw anything in there, just do what you want, man. In fact, I usually, uh, I usually throw some sausage in here. I don't have any sausage, but sausage will be great in here too, and you add it when you add the potatoes in the, in the corn. So, anyway, we're gonna let this go, like I said, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. We'll check the potatoes, we'll be right back. All right, gang, it's been about 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and check these potatoes, see how they're looking. Ooh, my glasses fogged up. Ha. There we go, let's just scoop us up a potato right there. Yeah, you're getting pretty close. Let me do the five minutes, bring you back. All right, guys, let's check this one more time. It's starting to get a little dark on me over here. Let's check out this, these taters here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, now see, that's, that's pretty good. It's not, it's not too tender, so it still needs to cook a little bit more, which is fine. That's what I'm looking for. But it's almost there. Now. I'm going to go in with some crabs. These are uh, snow crabs. 
get these unwrapped here. Come on now. There we are. See, snow crab, folks. Snow crab leg. That's good stuff right there. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in. I don't want to catch that paper on fire. My burner's still going down there. I got six, six, clus six clusters of these uh, crab legs right here. That's three for me and three for Karen. That should be about right. Just going to go in with those. And these, as you can see, they're already pre-cooked. So we just need to kind of warm them up. And what I like to do is give them about a five-minute start before I put my shrimp in there. That'll kind of help them get going real good. Come on. There we go. And we're talking. All right. That's six clusters of crab leg. Make sure they all get submerged down in there, get in that liquid. So they'll start coming up the temp. Cook, you know, not really cooking them, but letting them warm up is what I'm trying to do. So give these about five minutes, bring it right back, and we'll throw some shrimp in there. All right, guys, it's been about five minutes or so. Oh, yeah, they're looking good. Now, what I got here is some frozen shrimp. And this frozen shrimp's going to bring that temperature down quite a bit. So we're going to have to put the shrimp in there. And this is a uh, basic. And I got two pounds of frozen shrimp, folks. I'll throw some shrimp in there, though. I'll let them come up to a boil. So I'm going to put the lid back on there. Let them come back up to the boil. There we go. Again, push all that down. Let it get submerged into that nice, nice liquid there. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. <coughs> oh, that's some strong stuff, folks. So, we'll let it come up to boil. I'm gonna put the lid back on it, but come up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, with them shrimp, and same with crawfish. Give it three minutes. Then shut the fire off with the lid on. Let them soak for a good 20 minutes or so and then taste the shrimp or taste the crawfish or whatever you're using. Um, see if it's spicy enough for you. If it's not, put the lid back on, just let it keep sitting. When it's spicy enough for you, that's when you pull them out. Different people have different spicy levels taste, you know, so just do them until you're ready. Do them until they're spicy enough for you. I'll let you know how long we'll go with this one. We'll check back here in a few, folks. All right, gang. I let this come up to a boil. It's been three minutes, as you can see. She's looking really good. All right, so put the lid back on it. I'm gonna shut the fire off. Turn my gas off. And we're gonna let that baby just sit there for a good 20 minutes, okay? Bring you back and we'll check it for flavor. All right, gang. This has actually been in here for 30 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, I tested one of these shrimp and it was getting spicy, but it still needed a little bit more. So I went ahead and uh, let it soak another 10 minutes and also found that it didn't have a lot of salt flavor. So I finished up uh, that, that box of salt that I had earlier. I went ahead and put about three quarters of that box of salt in there. But we're fixing to take this out. We're going to strain it. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo, that's hot. Oh, gone. Mm. That's some hot stuff right there, folks. All right, so we're gonna let that. Uh, come on now. Anyway, we're gonna strain this out. We're gonna take this off. There we go. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's check out some of this shrimp and this crab. The shrimp. Oh yeah. Got a little shell on there. I peeled the shrimp. Make it easier to eat on camera. Mm. Check out one of these crab, snow crab legs. Oh yeah. There we go. Personally, I like that part right there. The knuckle. That's some good eating right there, folks. Mm-hmm. 
That's a lot of good meat right there. Real tender. Oh man. Yeah, that's perfect right there, folks. If anything, it needs a little bit, needs to sit in the salt just a little bit more. Should have added some more salt at the beginning. That spice is there, man. That's good. Oh, yeah. Break this baby open. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Check that out, folks. That's crab meat. Hope y'all can see this. It's actually dark. You see behind me, I got my uh... <coughs> spice getting to me. It's got a. Uh... Anyway, landscape lights are on, but dip this in a little bit of melted butter. Oh, yeah. That's good, folks. I forgot to tell you, you can throw pretty much anything in the crab bowl. One of my favorite things is to throw in some artichoke. Chop the head, you know, just a little bit so you get to the heart of the artichoke, you expose it. Artichoke in a crab bowl is really good, folks. Or a crawfish bowl, whatever you want to do. Same mixture, just different seafood. <coughs> it got some good kick to it, folks. Yum. Hope y'all uh, enjoy this. I posted some uh, some pictures on Instagram, Facebook, and stuff. So hope y'all check that out. Now check out the links down below. Just hit show more down below if you want to follow me on social media. This is excellent though. I appreciate the suggestion to do another uh, crawfish type boil, a seafood boil. And I'm sorry it's dark out here. I should have brought my lights out here, but. Seafood gets cold quick, so I gotta eat it. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all give me some thumbs up. Hope you share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. That's good. Man, it's good.